Hey yo, what up people? This is your boy Jay Sanjay Kicks. And your boy is wearing glasses today because I have an eye infection and my eyes are red as hell. Got something to do with this on um, pollen or something. It doesn't matter. I'm taking care of myself. That's why I haven't been uploading videos. Hopefully I'm going to be um, okay in the next few days. But we gotta talk about sneakers because we are already in the month of June and I haven't seen that many dope sneaker releases. As right now, there's only one pair of shoes that I really want and it's not a shoe that I'm dying to have, but yeah, it's, it's not really a bad thing. It's actually like a vacation month for sneakerheads and it's, it's kinda dope, it's kinda dope because we can save money um, to go for, for the upcoming releases of next month. Shoes like the um, UNC Toes and those shoes that are going to release next month, like, like those. But this month, the only shoe that I really want, and I already have it here, is the Wash Black Jordan 1. I think it's a really, really nice shoe, but outside of these, I don't see another one that I'm dying to have. I also want to put my hands on those... Um, on the Jordan 1 Lowe's Elephant Print, the black one, I think those look better than the Jordan 1 High that released um, last month, I think. Yeah, those, the, the Lowe's, I think looks better than, than, than the Highs. And I wanna see this in person. I'm still not so sure if I'm gonna keep those or not because I haven't seen them yet. But I'm probably gonna keep them because I like Jordan 1 Lowe's and I like what they did with this one a lot more than what they did with the Jordan 1 Highs. But like I said, other than that, let me see what they have on Sneaker Stop as right now. We have some um, Air Force One, Air Maxes, some Bomeros that I'm not interested in. Um, um, on June 8th, we have a release of a pair of Jordan 5 um, Lows. These are being called Indigo Haze. I'm not feeling those. And this is a women's release. We also have another um, women's release and it's a pair of Dunk and uh, they're called these shoes here on Snicker Shop, um, Plume Eclipse or something like that. This is like a pair of um, Nike Dunk Glow Mochas. I like the brown color on these, but my size won't be available. So these will be another pass for me. Then we have some, a bunch of nothings. Um, we have the release of the Jordan 1 High Wash Black. Then we have this Jordan 2 that is called H Winks. I don't know what this shoe goes about. They say something about a history probably here. It says, as a Jordan Brown legend, Howard H. White likes to say, everyone can fly. To honor his work as a foundating figure of Jordan Brand and our community foundations, we are dedicating these years Jordan brand wink shoe specifically to age. So I don't know who this guy is and sorry, I, I'm not supposed to know everything about um, Jordan brand companies. I love their shoes, but I don't know who this guy is. If you know who um, Howard H is, let me know in the comment section because I don't know, but they're going to release um, these Jordan 2s in honor to him. This is going to be another pass for me. I'm not feeling these. But I would love to see them in, in person. Let me know if you want me to do a review on those. Then we have some Nike Terminators. The color is nice, but it's a pass. We have um, these um, Nike Dunk Lows. Pretty dope. The colorway on this one, it's called Blue Suede. But it's a women's release. It's another pass because they won't have my size available. Some Nike Terminator Lows. These Nike Dunks are kind of crazy. These bold Nike Dunk Lows, no, it's a pass. My girlfriend wants these Bomeros, the, the Royal Tint and, and Fudge and Dust. My girlfriend wants these pairs, so I'm gonna have to go for these. And we have the hype release of the month, the um, Nike Dunk Low Plus Claude and Fragment Design in a black and white color. The design is kind of interesting. I'm going to try for these, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be an L, so you know what's going to happen. Other than that, a, a, some pair of dunks, and that's it. So like I said, this is like a vacation month for me. I'm not going to be going for nothing else outside of these as right now. If they do a shock drop, I might go 
um, to try to get um, some good shoes that I couldn't get from the past. But something that you can do is save some money for next month and the upcoming releases. Or you can go to try to get some um, shoes that you couldn't get from past releases because the resale prices are nearly on retail right now. So yeah, you can go try to get some past releases at least. I'm probably gonna do that, but um, I, don't know, I don't know, man. I might save the money for, for the upcoming months. Let me know guys what shoe gonna do. Are you gonna save money or are you gonna go for a sneaker that you're gonna get from past releases? This was only a um, a sneaker talk video just to talk a little bit with you about what's going on in this month that is barely nothing and I want to know how you feel about this. So keep talking with me in the comment section. I'm going to be right there for you guys. Let me know how you feel about the month of June. Like I said, there's only one shoe that I want and I already have it. So I'm going to give you a lace swap video on these. I already gave you the, the review and the on feet look but the lace swap is coming so stay tuned for that and even though this month is really low i'm gonna try to make the best to keep bringing you um sneaker content so subscribe if you haven't already hit the tone up because you'll help me a lot with the youtube algorithm and it's only gonna take one second of a time to leave a like so go do that for your boy thank you a lot for watching guys make sure to go follow me here on my instagram it's Jason J Kicks. Is there's a shock drop or a risk tag happening? I'm gonna let you know that information right here on my Instagram, Jason J Kicks. Thank you guys a lot for watching. Until the next one, goodbye.